Yes, new at 11, the Duval County School District could have hundreds of thousands of dollars withheld by the state due to its new mask mandate policy, which is set to take effect next week. Now, right now, the state says the district is under investigation for noncompliance. And as Andre Sides Haley Harrison reports, the district is up against a tight deadline. In a letter addressed to the Duval County Superintendent and Board Chair, Florida Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran wants a response by the end of the day Wednesday on how the district is complying with the state's rules on masks. The rule, which came after Governor Ron DeSantis' executive order, says the school district must allow for a parent or guardian of the student to opt out of wearing a mask. At last week's board meeting, the policy changed from an overall general opt-out to parents and guardians needing a note from a doctor stating a medical physical or psychological reason for their child not to wear a mask. The district's 90 day mask mandate for students and staff is set to start next Tuesday, September 7th. If the district doesn't comply, the education commissioner states, I intend to recommend to the State Board of Education that the department withhold funds in an amount equal to the salaries of all the members of the school board, as well as other sanctions authorized by law, until the district comes into compliance. Duval County Public Schools told First Coast News each school board member makes almost $46,000 a year. And with seven board members, that means a little over $320,000 of funding is at stake. Board Chair Elizabeth Anderson also addressed the threat of the salary cuts after the mass mandate vote last week. It is our priority to keep the students safe and healthy in our schools so that they can be there and learning. Um, and we are going to try to do whatever we can with respect to his executive order and the wishes of our parents to help make sure that that can happen. She said Tuesday the district is working with its legal team to respond to the letter from the commissioner as quickly as possible. I'm Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side. Now, last week, a judge blocked the state from punishing school districts that impose mask mandates without giving those districts a chance to defend themselves in court. The governor's office plans to appeal that rule.